Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Review. So, you've probably seen me looking like this through a lot of videos. <laughs> I'm doing what I call a marathon filming. Um, I have got a few more videos that will need to be done. I will do them as and when I can do them. But this is the last for the, to, the last for today until I do my try on. So today, guys, we're going to do pop vinyls. Yay! Pop vinyl figures. Now, I'm not a massive collector. I know a lot of people who collect endlessly and have so many. I am not one of them collectors. As you know, I collect a lot of stuff. I collect a lot of skulls. I collect gothic and stoke fairies and nemesis fairies. I collect kill star cushions, soft plush teddies, cups, makeup clothes, shoes, there's got to be a cut off point to what you collect and I for one am my own worst enemy when it comes to collecting and it's just the harder in me, it's just that's, I don't hoard messy hoard, I, I hoard collection hoard, I just love the way things look when it's all put together. So the reason I have, I started collecting these was simply my love of Jack Skeleton and I absolutely love the pop finals that they had and I thought I wouldn't mind collecting just the Nightmare Before Christmas theme just them now I, I'm well aware that Nightmare Before Christmas has been out many years and you know a lot of the pop finals are probably retired and you just can't get your hands on them now I get that but I know that some companies some places do still do them now I was searching, I've I've ordered a pop in a box before, it was very unsuccessful and I got my money back, I didn't bother. And then I ordered on Forbidden Planet, I waited and waited and waited, it's all you seem to do for these pop vinyl is wait. And I waited for the longest time and I ended up cancelling that. Now fast forward another play about another 12 months, maybe 6 months, I don't know, time scale roughly. But um, I was just looking and I spotted these pop vinyls and I was like, oh, I really want them. So I said, right, I'm just going to, I've never heard of this company before. They had this easy pay where you can pay over six installments and it was literally £6.30 um, a month. And I was like, was it a month? It was either a month or every two weeks. I can't quite remember. But I was like, wow, that's, that's all right. And they had a deal on where it was three for 30 pound so i picked three pops for 30 pound okay so that was the three that i picked i bought one before that which was from jd williams and that came super fast and then i decided to order two from pop in a box now grant me this i didn't realize that savvy and pop in the box were USA based. Also, I didn't realise that Savvy and Pop in the Box are brother and sister companies. They're, they're the same company, just I don't know. I didn't know that. My friend Dan told me, and I was like, Mother. Mmm. So I've only gone ahead and, and what I did, I ordered the, the three for thirty pound one first from Savvy and the first one came super fast and we're going to do that one first. So the first one that came was Victor and Victor, well, Victor's from two things. You've got Victor here, which is this Victor who looks very much like this Victor. Now this Victor is from Frank and Weenie. Um, yeah, as you can tell, he's holding Sparky. Um, but when we started watching Corpse Bride, I was well confused because I thought Victor looks like the same Victor but grown up and the dog is Scraps. It's not it's not that dog, do you know what I mean? It's, it's not Sparky. So I was a bit confused by it but as soon as I seen these come out the very first time I pre-ordered them and six months down the line I still didn't get them and I got so pissed off with waiting for them that I cancelled it. I thought nah that's enough cancel it get me money back because i paid instantly guys and you know when you're paying instantly for an item and you don't receive it for six months 
I don't know. I just I, I'm I'm impatient, guys. I, I it's like the spooky box. I'm too impatient to to get that. I really want to, and I think what I might do is when I get birthdays out of the way, I might start my subscription for spooky box and just let it run and forget about it, and then eventually I'll probably have two or three boxes coming at once and happy days. I may do that, and I've got a running box throughout my channel then because I'm not as lucky as some other youtubers i don't get pr or anything like that on a regular basis i get the odd pr here and there but i don't get it as a running thing so it costs me money and when you're not monetized that money's coming out of your own pocket so you're you're paying for footage basically for the people to watch are you paying for the people to watch your videos which doesn't really make sense for me but you know once you get monetized you still don't earn a lot of money when you're monetized <laughs> so yeah so anyway, cut a long story short, I ordered it from this savvy because it was three for, ten, uh, three for 30 pound and that was including the postage and I thought that was really good. So Victor came within three weeks, maybe four weeks and a alarm bell started ringing then because obviously I, I figured out that this was coming from overseas. When it arrived and I noticed, I didn't get no shipping, no taxes or anything on this guy. So I think this is why because they, they all came in, in different processes instead of all coming together which i thought they would have done they came separate times because they were all pre-ordered but they're all coming out at the same time so anyway this one came i've not talked about the box at all but i can see him he looks really really good and he's number 986 um and as you can see 986 and there's victor there and there's emily at the back i love corpse bride so does zach so this is not just me i buy these for zach but i look after him if that makes sense so when zach gets older these will be his i'll pass them down to him so technically they are zach's not mine but i collect them for him because if i was to let zach have this he would rip the box up he would take the, the victor out and he'd just destroy it he doesn't he doesn't really look after things like this as much as he does his trains so i got that and i was really, really happy and i thought there we go victor goes on top of my coffin unit in my front room and emily can go on the other one so anyway, I waited and I waited and waited and I thought, let's just be patient, Rachel, be patient. And then probably about two months later, this one arrived and I was like, yay. So the Mandalorian, again, I had tried getting this when it first come out alongside the one where Yoda or Grogu was trying to get the gumballs out of the baby thing. I love that pop. I may still try and get it. I just don't like the fact that you wait so long from Savvy and popping the box and I just hate that. But I can't see it anywhere in the UK so you kind of got to bite the bullet and just go for it. Although I've searched from Forbidden Planets as well and they don't have it. So this came next which is the Star Wars The Mandalorian with the Child. This is 402. No damage to the boxes. They all came intact. So you know, this is you don't want damaged boxes especially when, you know, You've waited so bloody long for them. So this one came. Now, bear in mind, I do have the child on its own. One of three, because I know there's three. There's one where he's got a frog in his mouth. There's one who's wrapped in a bag. I don't have them two. I will get them two. And I've got the old Yoda as a baby. As you know, Yoda and the child are not the same. If you don't even know that, they're not the same. But I got Yoda as a baby way, way back when I was in Forbidden Planets uh, in Manchester. And it was 11 99 I absolutely love it. And I've got the um, Grogu light as well, which is on top of there. So I, I did start the whole Yoda Mandalorian. I didn't want to buy too many. I only wanted to buy the characters that I, I liked, which was Grogu, the Mandalorian. There was another Mandalorian without Grogu, I think. Or there was another one with Grogu and the Mandalorian and that animal thing that they were set on. I don't know. There is a few that I do want to get. So that came. And I was happy that too had came. And then... I waited another month and then I thought, right, I'm getting impatient now. This is taking the pace. It's taken too long. So I went on to Zavi to have a look how long Emily would take. And it said September 2021. September? I said, we were, st we were still in April. So I was like, nah. So I contacted him and said, I'm really sorry, but these are gifts. I've waited too long. Can I have my money back, please? And they refunded me £9.68, which was for this. Because there was a deal... I didn't get the full amount back. I don't know how it worked, but yeah. 
um, and then my last payment for the for these in general, although I've got refunded, that comes out in another week or so. Money's there for it, so that'll be gone. So then I went and ordered Emily from Forbidden Planet in the UK, thinking I will get her a bit faster than September. Grant it was faster than, than that, but I still waited over three weeks for them to, to dispatch Emily from the UK Forbidden Planet store. And I was like, what is it with these pop vinyls? Does everybody have to wait this length of time for shipping? I, it it drives me mad. It would absolutely drive me mad. I will stick to the UK, but what I might do is next time I go to the north is go to the big Manchester Forbidden Planet with my money and just buy every pop that I, I want to collect and be done with and that's it end of collection <laughs> so yeah she came eventually now obviously i want emily and victor together so that's pretty much that set done now as i said i bought cara dune i bought her from freeman's not freeman's jd williams and she literally took a week to come which is a massive difference so i have got the mandalorian i've got cara dune i've got two yodas and i've got baby the old yoda now i'm not too sure what other characters i want to get from the mandalorian because i did that was one of my favorite programs was the mandalorian and i miss it a lot so i may just get a couple more and then that'll be just the end of my i may get a black star trooper and a white star trooper maybe we'll see oh, i don't know then i might get chewbacca oh i don't know i don't know we'll see we'll see i might just get what i find appealing in them pops and now that'll be that collection the next collection as you probably know i started collecting the nightmare before christmas pops i got the sally standing up which is downstairs in my fireplace and i got normal jack standing up which is downstairs in my fireplace and I've got the Snowman Jack, which is up there, which I picked up from Manchester at the same time as I picked up that Baby Yoda. I love Manchester. I go to Aflex Palace and I'll shop for hours and end in Aflex Palace. I don't shop around Manchester like some people will go shop around other shops. I go with them shops in mind and I literally will have all my money and I'll go straight into Aflex Palace, spend 100, 200 pound in there, if that, um sometimes less it all depends what of my budget is sometimes i'll save up to go to manchester guys i may save up three or four months so i've got three four hundred pound five hundred pounds to spend because i don't go to birmingham because i won't go on my own shopping in manchester i can go with my family because they're quite close to manchester so yeah on on that note that's probably what i'll do so yeah i ended up getting these two from pop in a box so i seen these two in pop in a box and they were 10 pound each and that was it and that was including the postage so i was like okay i'll order them and there we go again i didn't realize that savvy and pop in the box were the same company so i ended up waiting around about three months maybe two three months for these to arrive so the first one that came was sally sat down and it's a sally sewing um i love nightmare for christmas as you know i don't have sally in this kind of doll but I think what I may do is when Halloween comes this year and Sally comes out on Bilderberg, which no doubt she will, I will buy Sally and I will buy Oogie Boogie in the teddies. And if I can get them in this ones, I'll get them in that ones as well. But yeah, I got this one. It was £10. This is 8 or 6 So I've got two Sallys now, which is great. And the boxes were great as well. No damage to them. I must admit, and I've, I've read some really bad reviews about Savvy and Pop in a Box having really damaged boxes. I didn't have any of that luckily i just waited way too long and then i bought jack skeleton 808 zach absolutely loves this one he keeps trying to copy him he's like mommy can you take him out of the box and i said no no we take no i don't take pops out of the box i have got some ornaments that i got from the disney shop of jack that i took out of the packaging but i don't want to do that with these because that's to start getting grubby so 808 jack skeleton um there is another jack skeleton that i want i want every jack skeleton possibly going um because he's my favorite um i do want to get ooga boogie and um the mayor um crow whatever he's called the mayor yeah the mayor this dude on here um i'm not too sure i want to get the, the naughty kids i might get them um 
yeah i'll see i'll see i might get them i like the witch i will get the witch i know that you can still buy the witch and the maya now so i probably will still get them i'm trying to build up my nightmare for christmas pop collection my star wars and anything else with tim burton so i do want um edward scissorhands um oh what else was i want Coraline. i really want Coraline. i can't get my hands on her at the minute um and there's another one i think there's alice in wonderland if i can find that as well so any tim burton film that he's done i'm going to try and get the pop figures for him anyway guys that is my pop figures here they are and they've all fell down so all in all so it cost me 30 40 50 60 so it cost me 60 pound pretty much 10 pound each for them pop vinyls uh will i buy any more pop vinyls probably yeah i'll never say never when it comes to me because i'm a creature of habit um but once i've collected a certain set i'm usually i'm happy like at the minute i've collected my skulls i, I don't see me going any further with the skulls i've got enough i've got plenty the only two <laughs> you see there's always more the only two i want now is i've got the one with the amethyst in i want the red one and the green one to match that and i want them on each side of the unit they're 13 pound i may just go down and order them now while they're on my mind and they'll be in the video somewhere along the line all right guys take care of yourself pop your comments on below have you got any of these what do you think of pop vinyls what do you think of zavi or pop in the box or forbidden planet which which one would you prefer to buy from also emp do um pop vinyls i've not ordered any from emp before but i might try my luck with them because i'll probably get them a bit quicker i reckon so anyway even quicker than forbidden planets i'm really impatient guys when it comes to things like that all right guys i'm going to put these back into place thank you for watching comments below thumbs up if you like this video thumbs down if you don't like this video pop a comment why you don't like the video it's all part of it um will i jump back into uh, the demise boxes um i probably will eventually there's so many boxes and small businesses and so forth and you know there's only so much money you can stretch and as you know from next year and i'll say from next year from next year i will be saving money because me and my husband will be moving into our own land and into our own little cabin in the woods so we need to start saving for that and that means <laughs> no buy for 12 months that's going to be very hard i might not be on my channel for very long <laughs> all right guys take care of yourself and see you in the next one bye for now don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel Take care guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.